Hi, this video is another suggestion by one of my subscribers. The image that I'm going to use, I'm going to include the link in the description if you want to try this with the same image. This problem can be fixed a few different ways. So I'm going to show you uh, different approaches of how to fix this problem. Let's first duplicate this background layer a few times. Let's have four layers here. This way we can see the before and after and I can show you different um, methods to fix this problem. I'm going to make these invisible for now. Select this one and let's name it original. So we know that this is uh, our original image. This one I'm going to call auto because the first uh, method that I'm going to use is very quick and easy. You can just go to the colors menu, go to auto and choose this white balance option. Now you can see what this did. I'm going to show you the before and after. So this fixed the problem a little bit. It won't work with every image also I think we can make it look a lot better but if you quickly want to try and see if this is going to help your image you can do that by going to the colors auto and choosing the white balance option now let's see the next thing that we can do I'm going to make this one visible and uh, the next thing that we can use is the levels tool so let's rename this to levels then go to the colors menu again and choose levels and here we can grab this handle and move it to the right now you can see how this is affecting the image we don't want to go too far just a little bit into this area right here where it starts to go up and then we can also grab this handle and move it a little bit around here again not too much inside where it starts to go up like this now you can see the before and after quickly if I turn on and off the preview. You can see this looks much better than this. So let's click OK. And now let's uh, compare the levels and the auto for example. So if I turn this off you can see that this makes the image look a little bit more clear. And if we compare it to the original you can see the difference is very big. Now the third way is using the curves tool plus uh, a layer on soft light. So we need to duplicate this one again so we can have two layers. And I'm going to rename this to curves plus soft light so we know what's what. Then let's turn these two on. And actually let's turn this one off and on this one, the bottom layer, we go to the cover tool, curves, and we're going to bring this down. So we are making the image darker, then click OK, then go to the top layer and choose the soft light option, then turn it on and you can see what this did. Now I'm going to merge them down, just right click on this one and select the merge down option. And then you can see, uh, let me turn these two off, you can see the before and after. You can see the comparison between the original and the curves plus soft light. Or let's see it with uh, between the curves and levels, let's see the difference. Or between the auto. And of course this has a room for experimenting how much you want to apply how much you want to darken the image and how much if you even want to have the uh, soft light opacity here I already merged it down so I can't control it anymore but if we actually reduce the opacity the image is going to get darker and I think this is dark enough for this example now there is one more thing that we can do and that thing can be applied to pretty much each of these for example, if you want to apply it to the levels here, I'm going to duplicate this so we have another copy of the levels there. And then I'm going to make plus and sharp. I'm going to type this and then go to filters, enhance, unsharp mask. 
and then here for the radius I'm going to type in 50 and this is uh, this can vary depending on the size of your image you can experiment with this number it doesn't have to be 50 here for the amount I'm going to add around 0.2 and then I'm going to click OK to see what this is going to do to the image you can see how this kind of cleared the image even further if I go to before just the levels you can see after applying the unsharp you just need to be careful adding this unsharp filter because it can ruin the image so you can try it you can see what's going to do here I think it make the image a little bit better if we see the before and after with the original you can see the original you can see after applying the levels and unsharp how this looks you can add the unsharp to pretty much each of these and uh, also you can experiment with each of these with the curves with the levels only with this one there's no experimenting you can just apply it and then you can add the unsharp to this one to the auto so these are the few different methods that you can use to remove haze from your photographs and i hope this video was useful if it was leave a like if you're new to my tutorials make sure to subscribe and visit my channel for more and that's it for this one, bye for now.